So I think I'm going to build a new e-bike battery. Um, this is my existing e-bike battery. And you've seen in the last couple of videos that when I leave it for a while, it's um, becoming unbalanced. And that's because some of the cells are self-discharging. They were recycled cells when I built this, and a few of them must be self-discharging. So I think I'm going to build a new one. And I ordered, ordered this case off AliExpress. And I ordered a smaller case. This is a 65 cell battery. This is a 52 cell battery. This is a 5P13S. And this will be a 4P13S battery. But I am going to use higher capacity cells. I have these LG uh, MH1s that are rated at uh, 3100 milliamps. And I think these were either 2600 or 2800 milliamp batteries. So the higher capacity cells should compensate for the fact that I have one less battery per parallel group. Um, so I ordered this case and it is smaller, it is more compact. I like everything about it. Except there's one issue that I noticed right away. You know, I, un I unscrewed it and here are the, uh, here are the bus bars. And the issue I noticed right away is, if I take a standard DALI BMS, there is no space to put the BMS. I mean, none. They haven't allowed any space for the BMS. You would think, oh, there's space here. But no, look, the cover is, in, is indented here and takes up all that space. If I put this dally and if I mounted this dally here and I try to close it, doesn't close. There is no space left for a BMS. It's pretty crazy. So what I did is I really tried to find a BMS that was narrower than these two pieces of plastic so that I could put it in this little bit of a recess here so it would sink down and kind of rest directly on the cells but I could not find a BMS with enough capa uh, amp capacity for um, to fit there. Um, but I did end up coming across this BMS. This is rated for 35 amps. It's a 13S um, BMS, which is what we need. It does have balance. Um, and although it doesn't fit in this recess, which is kind of what I was hoping it would, it doesn't, and I kind of knew that when I ordered it. It did look thinner online, and it is, it is slightly thinner. And with this in place, I think we can almost close the battery. It's you know, a little bit of a squeeze, but I do think I can almost close the battery. So I, I love this case, but man, I wish they would have left a little bit of room for the BMS. I'm trying to see if it's possible I could put the BMS like sideways like that. I just don't know where they expect you to put a BMS because um, it's kind of it's kind of hitting on the, uh, the locking mechanism. Um, anyways. They rarely left no physical space for a BMS, which is unfortunate. But I think this 13S BMS, it's pretty small considering it's 35 amps. And this DALI BMS is only 30 amps, and this is supposed to be 35 amps. Um, but this is all encased in rubber, and, you know, this is kind of a little more DIY, if you will. Um, but uh, this has balance, and this is you know supposedly a full BMS, and and should be okay. So I have no choice but to run this, and 35 amps is more than enough for an e-bike. So if I can kind of squish it in here, this will be the BMS we run, and we'll build it out with. Uh, this is 52 cells. Yeah, this will be four times 13, so 52 cells, and we'll build them out with these and. Uh, We'll, we'll do some capacity testing on these. I stored these cells fully charged a year ago. So I'll be able to voltage test all the cells and find 50 cells that 
are still above four volts, that means they're not self-discharging. And so if I find 50 cells that are still above four volts, that means that, you know, after a year of storage, they're still holding their charge and they're good, healthy cells. And we will use those for this and we will build a battery that should not self-discharge during long periods of storage. So that's the plan. And uh, we, I guess next we'll find the cells and go from there. Okay, let's start finding some cells. I grabbed a bucket of cells from my box. And all the cells with this dash, blue dash on it means that they came from the same batch. I salvaged two different batches of cells and to make sure that I keep similar cells from the same batch together, I marked them all with a blue line. That way I know which cells come from which batch. But anyways, um, we need 52 good cells. And again, these were all put away fully charged. Um, and some, I did rewrap some if, if, their, um, if their case was damaged. Um, so let's see if we got 52 good cells here. Yeah. Remember, if, if it's above 4 volts and they've been sitting over a year, that's a great, um, you know, that's a good sign. Let's put the multimeter where you can see it. Okay, let's begin. Great. 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 Good start. Okay, all these cells are are good. Um let's see how many we got in this first batch here. What do we get here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Good start. All right. I will uh, probably time lapse you and find the remaining 52 cells. If there are any cells that are low, I'll come back and just show you that. But we'll go from here. Well, that was incredibly easy. All 52 cells are all above four volts, so not one of these is self-discharging. This is a really good batch of cells. Um, these came out of um, some some Lime scooters, and um, this is a really good batch of cells. All of these cells are very healthy, nano self-discharging. Um, and again, these, these have sat for over a year, so good cells. So we can put them in the, we can start stacking them in the, in the battery over there and start to design our pack and begin the spot welding process. Okay, let's begin assembling the pack. Remember when you place your cells, think about how you're going to do the spot welding. You want, um, you want to make the least crazy shapes as you can because putting nickel on top of nickel on top of nickel weakens the joint. If you can do one nice single piece of nickel joining the cells, that is the simplest. It may, you're putting a lot of current through a single piece of nickel, but as long as this isn't a crazy high powered battery, um, it is the simplest. So we will begin and we're going to, we know it's, there's four cells per group. Oh, I have this upside down. So we know there's four cells per group and I'm going to start the battery here for reasons you will see in a second. And by doing that, then I can complete a full row up at the top. Okay. And and what I think else, I think I want the battery to go this way, this way, and then this way, this way, and this way. So that means now we need four cells down here. Then we need four cells up here. 
and four cells down here. And then we need four cells up. And we will have to make, we'll have to do, this will need to be double nickeled as we make the turn, but that's fine. Okay, four cells down. Four cells up. Four cells down. Okay. Four cells up. Now this is unfortunate. I've kind of ended up with kind of a kind of a crummy kind of a crummy uh, set of cells here. I'll have to do a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here to join them. That's kind of crummy. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, okay, that means we need four down here. Okay, we need four up here. And then finally four down. There we go. That completes a 13S 4P battery. So the battery runs like this, like this, like this. So this will be our main negative and then this side on this side will be our main positive. So that is our battery design. Um, I'm reasonably happy with that. There's only one or two weird sort of groups where I'll have to do a bit of zigzagging with the nickel, but for most part I'll be using long strips of nickel to connect the cells, which will be a lot simpler and, and cleaner and, and stronger joints because you don't have double nickel. Anyways, I think that's the battery design and I think I'll stop this video here. And uh, in part two we'll actually begin spot welding and we'll attach the BMS and test the battery. But this has all the signs of being a, a good battery because we're starting with healthy cells. So anyways, I uh, hope you uh, stick around and see part two and uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks.